Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran regarding worldly affairs, worldly matters, about worldly about worldly belongings, about family, about possession, that the only thing that is everlasting are your good deeds. Allah Azza wa Jalla bu dünyada yaşarken insan olduğu için hem malı vermiş, çoluk çoluk evlat vermiş, onlara da dikkat etmek lazım. Onlar while we must be focused on the hereafter and on good deeds, we still live in this world, and Allah Almighty has given us life in this world and bestowed family, possession, children to us. And we must take care of all these things as much as we can, as good as we can. Nimetler, Allah'ın verdiği nimetler, onlara e, iyilik yapmak, Allah'ın e, sevdiği şeydir. We must perceive every, the things we have in this world as a gift by our Lord Allah Almighty, our families, our children. Our belongings, our possessions, our gift and divine favor by Allah Almighty, and we must take care of it for the sake of Allah Almighty and do goodness. Doğru yolda olduktan sonra dünya için ahiretini vermeyin diyor. However, we must never go astray and we must never exchange the hereafter for worldly belongings or worldly affairs. Ama yine de dünya sana verilen nimetlere dikkat et onlara onlara muhafaza et so while we must take care of our worldly affairs and our worldly belongings we must never forget that they should never take replace our focus which should be the hereafter yaşadığımız zaman tabi şey kalmamış e, emniyet kalmamış we now live in a time where there is no security or safety left. People no longer respect trust. And as we live in dangerous time, we must take care of things and we must be wakeful and for example if if we take a loan we we should write things down and record things by writing it down onu hatta aranızda şahit falan olsun diye yazın onu bırakmayın hele de if we make an agreement we should record that agreement in written form and we should even keep a witness for it Sayfa sırf onun için, o borç almak, borç vermek için yazılmış. Yani o, onu yapmak ayıp değildir, günah değildir. Bilakis yapmamak, sen Allah'ın emrini itaat etmezsin. So in order to avoid any misuse of one's trust, when it comes to loans, it is recommended and has been ordered to keep a record in written form to keep witnesses and one should not be ashamed of and regardless of one's relationship to a person to to ask that person to record the agreement in written form and to take a witness there's nothing to be ashamed of it instead this behavior is recommended gerekmez de şey yapmaya gerek yok her şey için because people may be saying to you 
we don't need a written agreement. We are good friends. We are relatives. Uh, we know each other. But nevertheless, it's recommended if you do an agreement, especially about loans, you should make a written contract and have a witness. Allah Azza wa Jalla güzel e, yolu göstermiş. Allah Almighty has shown us the beautiful way. Mümin olan, Müslüman olan için onun için borç aldın, verdin mi muhakkak e, onu yazın sonra It is the way of Allah Almighty is the way of the Muslims and the believers and it is recommended by Allah Almighty that if we take a loan if we made if we make an agreement on a loan we should make a written contract işte verdim de alamadım bir şey var mı aranızda yok hiçbir şey yok biz tanıyoruz onun için güvendik birbirimize verdik de because Regardless of one's relationship to the person from whom you are taking a loan from, you may end up in a situation where you you may dispute on what the, the actual loan was, and then it will be difficult to make a decision because there was no written contract, and they will say we made an agreement just orally because we were good friends, we trusted each other, but. Anything may happen any time, and without a written contract, there's nothing you may refer to in afterwards. And then it is your fault if you are being exploited because you did not engage in a written contract. People complain about such situations where they say that they do not get their money back. But what's the use of complaining if you did not make a contract in the first place? Even if you go to court, you cannot prove your point. So therefore, it is recommended that those things which Allah Almighty has given to us as our possessions, our, as our belongings, as our worldly matters, we must take care of them meticulously. We must not be exploited by bandits, by people who want to steal our things away. Allah sana verdiği rızıktır, çoluk çocuğunun rızıkıdır. Because Allah Almighty has given these favors to you as a gift and it is your provision, it is the provision of yourself, of your family, of your children. Onu e, muhafaza etmek senin vazifendir. And it is your duty and responsibility to protect that provision Allah Almighty has granted you. Allah yardım etsin inşallah. May Allah Almighty support us. People have lost their conscience. And we see that people exploit others, whether they are poor or rich, they do not respect even the needy or the poor ones, they exploit anyone. And thus they do unthinkable things which are beyond imagination in order to exploit others. All that people care about is to make profit in any way. Therefore you must be careful to not be cheated by such people. Verilen nimetlere e, mukayyat olun. Take control of what Allah Almighty has granted you, the, your belongings, your possession, your provision for you and your family, and do not allow others to cheat you. Allah e, şerlerden muhafaza etsin. May Allah Almighty protect us from evil things. Sen yendim alın muhafaza etsen, Başkasını da günahtan e, korumuş oluyorsun. Hor
because by protecting your, your own belongings and your own possession, you're also protecting others because you're preventing them from committing a sin and exploiting you. You protect the thief by preventing him from stealing and you protect the one who cheats you by preventing him from cheating you. So by taking care of your belongings and your possession, your worldly matters, you're not only doing good for yourself, but also for the one who may have intended to do harm. Take care of your belongings and do not let yourself be cheated and don't, don't allow your belongings be stolen away from others. Allah, etsin, Allah etsin. May Allah Almighty protect us and support us.